Hey guys, Dearbrush here, and today we're going to create this awesome animation. So stick with me and let's get to it. Okay, so let's jump in Affinity Designer and start creating our scene. So we're going to go to File, New and have the page width 1000, height 1000 and DPA 300 and now click create and we have our artboard so now we're going to go to the rectangle tool and click and drag all the way down now for this rectangle I want to have the blue color so I think I'm satisfied with this blue already now let's just go to the stroke here and close this. We'll just leave the fill color. Now what I want to do is go to get the pen tool or press P on your keyboard. Create a point right about here. And click and drag here to create another point. Put another point down here to every corner and let's unite this shape. Okay, so I want to have this in a green color a uh, much more darker color I would say there we go they should do it now let's click on this copy Control C Control V to paste it and here we're going to go to the menu over here and click flip horizontally let's snap it here and let's enlarge it a bit so now I want to put a more brighter color and what I'm going to do is click and drag this all the way here. Okay, so it's looking much better. Now what I want to do is also create the sun behind, so take the circle and hold shift, drag the circle and I want to have it a bit more bigger, like so. And we'll center it. And I think I'm going to have this into a much more yellowish color, like right about here. Okay, this looks fine. Now let's drag this all the way down here behind these hills. And there we go. Okay, so we have our sun, we have our hills now what we need to do is create a cloud so let's create a circle and let's zoom in a bit now let's hit alt hold alt key and drag it all the way down here let's enlarge this a bit alt again and let's create another circle now let's snap this into the correct position let's let this downsize this a bit like so okay now let's go on the top layer here get the rectangle tool let's create a rectangle on top of these shapes let's drag it a bit more to the top okay now let's just select just the circle so holding shift select each shape don't select the rectangle and now let's tap add okay and now let's select the rectangle as well and click subtract okay so now we have our cloud what we're missing is the trees so we're going to create the first branch here select the rectangle tool run the rectangle tool sorry and drag it does need to be perfect now with the rectangle tool selected let's run it out a bit more let's put this on top of the branch and now let's put the green color over here okay so now we're going to select a more brownish color for the branch put it over here right about here i think is good okay now let's select this and let's copy it so hold shift 
uh, hold all sorry hold key and drag the shape over here cool all right so select the shape now drag it to the bottom here behind this first hill and we're going to do the same for the other tree now select all the elements and drag them below this other hill over here let's downsize this a bit so hold shift and downsize this a bit more and this should be fine now what we're going to do is also create a leaf so for this we're going to go and use the pen tool and we're going to create one point here click and drag and now put the and unite the shapes here okay so let's put the like so let's adjust the shapes a bit so select the node tool and let's play around with it see if we can find something that we like like so a bit more rounded there we go perfect now for the leaf have the leaf selected uh, from the layer panel here and let's choose the color for the trees so what I want to do is actually make it a bit more so make this color a bit more obvious so let's choose these colors click with the eyedropper tool and select this color apply this color and let's make them a bit more darker like so <laughs> yeah that should do it okay so we're done designing and what we're going to do now is go to the file menu over here click export and we're going to use a psd file so we can uh, just import it into adobe after effects easily leave the settings here as they are and just click export and now we're going to jump into adobe after effects Okay, so now we're in Adobe After Effects. What we're going to do is create a new composition. Rename this to Main Comp. We're going to leave the settings here to 1000 with 1000 height. We're going to leave the frame rate to how it is now, 29.97. And we're going to leave the duration for 10 seconds. So we have enough space to work with and the background color can be black for you oh, i have it in white you can leave it as it is we don't care about that so just click ok and now we created our scene so what we need to do now is go to project over here and now here in this panel here we're going to click right and now we're going to import the file and import our new design and here we're going to choose import as composition make sure you have the create composition selected and click import uh, we can leave this as it is click OK and now we take this uh, folder and drag it on top of main comp and now our design is in Adobe so what we're going to do now is do some naming just to have the things more organized so on layer 10 we have the leaf so we're going to name this leaf <coughs> sorry for layer 9 we have the cloud so we're going to name this cloud on layer 8 we have the front hills we're going to say this front hills here we have the tree crown so we're going to name this uh, tree crown here we have the tree branch so we're going to name this tree branch now we have the back hills so we're going to name these back hills or hills in the back <laughs> And now we're going to name this uh, tree crown. Tree crown, let's say two, just to know which one we're referring to. 
tree branch too. And now this should be the circle, right? And the last should be the background. So we're going to name this BG. Okay, so the first thing we need to animate will be the tree over here. So what we need to do is go here in the layers panel and just select the tree crown and the tree branch. So to select them both, you click on once, hold control and select the tree branch as well. And now let's do control shift C. And now let's name this tree one. Enter. And now we merge these layers. So what we're going to do is go here to pan behind, select pan behind, and let's take this anchor below this tree here. And we need to apply an effect to this tree. So what we're going to do is go here in the effects and presets panel, search for CC bandit. There we go. And let's apply this to our tree. So click and drag on top of the tree here. And as you can see, our tree disappeared. So we're going to make it appear again. So what we need to do is take these two cursors that you can see here. Let's zoom in a bit. And let's take this cursor on top of the tree. And let's take this other cursor below the tree. Okay. So now what we're going to do is with this cursor over here on the start of the timeline, we're going to create our first keyframe by clicking here on the stopwatch. And now we're going to go here, click on the settings here and put minus five. Afterwards, we're going to move this current time to, let's say this time frame here and put five. Okay, so let's tap on the tree layer here, press U. As you can see, we created two time frames here. Now let's go through to the start and let's see what happens. So as you can see, our tree starts animating. It goes to one angle from minus five to five. And what we need to do is also apply a bit of a dirt over rotation just to have things look a bit more natural. So with the tree selected, press R for rotation. As you can see, the rotation appeared here. Click with the time frame set to the zero mark. Click on the stopwatch here and let's select minus two. Yeah. And let's drag it to the 215 here. And let's put two. So around the time frame where the bend ends as well. Okay, so with these two effects ready, let's click and drag and select all these keyframes. And let's right click, keyframe assistant and easy ease. So let's see what we have now. Okay, so it looks much better. But what we want to do now is make this animation loop. So it continuously bounces to one angle to another. So how we do this? Well, we apply expression. And how we do this is by Alt, holding Alt and clicking here on the stopwatch for bend. As you can see, there's a panel up that appeared here. And in this panel, we're going to write an expression called loop out. As you can see, Adobe fetched the expression for us. Now, inside we're going to do double quotation marks and select the ping pong. Okay, now let's copy this expression. So control C, press here to disengage. Now let's do the same for the rotation. So hold Alt inside and let's control V here to paste it, go outside. And let's see what we have now. Awesome, right? And it was very easy to do. 
Okay, so now that we're done with one tree, we can apply these settings to the other one as well. So let's select the tree branch to in crown 2 and do the same. So control shift C. Let's call this tree 2. Okay, now let's go to this tree over here, the tree 1, press U, select bend and hold control and select the rotation as well. Control C to copy them, click on the tree 2 and control V to paste the effects. So as you can see our tree disappeared, but our tree disappeared because we need to go to CC bend it, so press CC bend it here. And firstly we're going to use pan behind and click and drag this position over here first and basically now we go to bend it again let's select the top cursor put it on top here and select the bottom one and put it over here okay so everything is fine now let's see what happens so go to the timeline press space awesome so one thing we can do is just drag these two keyframes over here, so unselect everything, so go to the panel here, select these two keyframes, move them a bit more further, let's see now. So this one is moving a bit more slower, that's what I wanted, didn't want to have this moving at the same time looks a bit more natural now actually i'm gonna put them a bit more here let's see yeah much better okay so we did the animation for the trees now we're going to do the animation for the circle so for this circle we're going to use pan behind again we're going to drag this cursor over here to the bottom and now we're going to press on the circle, tap S for scale, and now we can create the first keyframe here at the zero mark. And now we can drag this. Oh, actually, first we need to downsize this a bit. So here, I'm going to tap and say 30. So we're going to want to make this grow and then uh, extend a bit more and then return to your the original position. It's very easy. So we're going to drag this timeline all the way over here. And here we're going to say 120. So it overarches a bit. And here we're going to move it all the way bit further actually so and here we're going to say 100 let's see how this animation looks so grab this to the start and press space awesome see it looks very awesome now let's select the keyframes and let's do the same so keyframe assistant and easy ease and let's see how it looks. Cool. Very easy to do. Okay, so we have this. Now, what we need to do is animate the cloud and the leaf. So let's take the cloud and let's use pan behind again to move its, this cursor to the middle. And now we're going to do the selection tool so, or V and let's drag this with shift and drag it all the way to the end here and what we're going to do is select the cloud again press p for position apply the first keyframe here at the start let's go all the way over here and now let's click and hold shift drag it all the way to the other side Let's see what we have. Mm -hmm. So it moves along. Awesome. Now, all we have to do 
is play with this leaf now. So what we're going to do is we want to have the leaf in this direction. So we're going to click here on this rectangle here and just shift this leaf a bit like so. Okay. Select pan behind, put the cursor on the middle of the leaf here. Awesome. And now let's leave this here for now. Now what we need to do to animate this leaf is we want to for this leaf to follow a path, right? So for this, it's very easy to do. Let's close this here. Select, unselect everything if you have something selected. Now click on the pen tool here and let's put a path here outside. Click and drag here. Now let's make a circular path. Try to at least. And let's control Z to undo if you have you're messing up as me. We want to do a circular path here. So let's try from the beginning. There we go. Okay, like so. So try to reproduce this. So click a uh, you want to follow along just click and drag on this spot here click and drag here or actually this part click and drag here click and drag here and click and drag here okay so press v for the selection tool let's put this over here and this over here make it a much more circular motion okay Perfect, so we created a path for the leaf to follow. And what we need to do now is select the shape layer, open, go to contents, shape, path, click on the path, control C to copy this path. And we're going to copy and paste this path on this leaf here. So press on the leaf layer, tap P for position, tap the position, and control V to paste the path for the leaf to go. Okay, so we can see that the leaf now changed to the position of the first keyframe here. And let's tap space to see what happens. So you see, now it follows the direction of the pen tool that we used. So let's extend the keyframe a bit. So let's go here at the end of this keyframe for the leaf and drag this a bit more actually control z to undo it tap once here to unselect everything select just this keyframe over here drag them a bit more let's see yeah the speed should be fine let's just reduce this a bit more yeah they should be fine so we can see that something is not right so it's following the path but it's not rotating how it should, so it doesn't look very natural. So what we're going to do is for each keyframe here, we're going to rotate the leaf to this path, right? So how we do this is go for this position now, select the leaf, tap, tap R for rotation. Let's zoom in a bit and click and drag just to put it in the correct position. And let's create the first keyframe here. So click here. Let's move our animation a bit further. So over here, we're going to rotate again towards the upper part. We're going to move this a bit more. We're going to rotate it again. Let's move this. So let's zoom it a bit more and at this part here, I want it to be rotated again. And let's see how this looks. So it comes like this, rotates. Now on this part here, it needs to be rotated once, once again, like here, like so. So let's see. It comes in, zooms in, okay. And follows this path. Okay, this should do it. Now let's see how our animation looks. Swoosh. 
and it goes away. Let's rotate this a bit more at during this part here. So select the leaf, this part here. I want it to have a bit more of an extension here. Okay, let's see. So, yep. Let's play it again. Yep, very awesome. So there you go. We did a lot of animations in this small scene and they're very easy to replicate. So you can use this in other projects that you want as well. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope you found this very useful. If you have any suggestions, please let me know in the comments below and I will be sure to follow on your suggestions. Thank you for watching and have a great day.